Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox the Hi BR2 Gen 2, a high resolution entry level digital audio player that supports MQA decoding and streaming services. This is the second generation of the R2 series and it has some amazing improvements over the previous model. You won't believe what this little device can do. It's one of the best budget players on the market right now. Let's see what's inside the box. The box of the R2 is quite small and simple, with a picture of the device on the front, while high contact details and warning on the back. Let's open and slide out the inner tray. Inside the tray, we have the R2 itself. The device comes in three colors, white, black, and red. I have the white version here, which looks sleek and classy. The back panel also has the Hybe logo and some certifications printed on it. The device feels solid and durable in the hand. The R2 has a square-shaped body with rounded corners and edges. It is made of aluminum alloy with a matte finish that feels smooth and sturdy in hand. It has a glass panel on both sides that covers the screen and adds some elegance to its appearance. The R2 is a very small and portable device that you can easily carry around in your pocket or bag. It is also very easy to hold and operate with one hand. It is a great companion for your music listening on the go. On the top, we have the microphone and power button that also acts as a lock button with a multicolor LED that shows different statuses and formats. The R2 has three buttons, big volume knob and microphone on the right side. The device has three ports on the bottom, a 3.5 mm audio jack, USB Type-C for charging, that also works for digital coaxial output, data transfer, USB DAC input and output, and OTG storage expansion, the micro SD card slot that supports up to 2 terabytes of external memory. The buttons are clicky and easy to operate, let's put it aside for now. Underneath the device, we have a small envelope that contains some accessories, let's open it and see what we have. We have a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer, a transparent plastic case for protecting the device, a spare screen protector for both the front and back glass panels, warranty card, QC card, and a user manual that explains how to use the device and its features. That's all for the accessories. Now let's take a closer look at the device itself. The R2 is a very compact and lightweight player, weighing 70.6 grams. It has a 2.45 inch IPS multi touch screen with a resolution of 480 by 360 pixels. The screen is bright and responsive, and it shows the volume status, time, battery status, and other connected device on the top bar. The user interface is based on Hi BOS, which is fast and smooth, and it supports gestures and custom themes. You can also adjust the brightness, font size, and color scheme of the display according to your preference. The R2 has a 1000 mAh battery that can provide up to 15 hours of continuous playback time on a single charge and 20 day standby. The R2 has a multicolor LED with the power button that changes color depending on the music format being played. For example, it turns red for charging, blue for MQA Studio, green for MQA, purple for MQB, and so on. This is a cool feature that lets you know what kind of music you are listening to at a glance. You can also turn off this feature if you find it distracting or annoying. The multicolor LED also shows the power on and charging status of the device. It's not just a pretty light, it's a useful indicator. Now I'm going to show you how to use the R2 and some of its systems and features. To turn on the R2, you need to press and hold the power button on the top right corner for about 3 seconds. The multicolor LED behind the power button will light up and you will see the Hi-B logo on the screen. To navigate the device, you can use the touch screen or swipe gestures. You can swipe left or right to switch between different tiles on the home screen. You can swipe down to adjust the volume and connectivity options. You can tap on icons or items to select them or open them. To access the settings menu, you can tap on the system gear icon. Here you can adjust various settings such as language, brightness, backlight time, theme color, 
font size, and so on. While here you can restore factory settings, firmware update, and in about you can check the SD card capacity as well. To connect, tap on wireless menu, supports Bluetooth 5, Wi-Fi, High B-Link, Import, DLNA, AirPlay modes. You can connect the R2 to your smartphone via High B-Link app and control it remotely. You can also use the R2 as a Bluetooth receiver or transmitter, supporting LDAC, Aptex HD, AAC, and SBC Codex. To play music on the R2, tap on music for different sources such as files, albums, and other categories. You can also mark favorite with star icon. Tap on setting icon to set MSEB, equalizer, play mode, DSD output mode, and so on. You need to select files to play local files from your micro SD card or USB storage. Select stream media to play streaming services such as Tidal or Kobus. You can log in with your account credentials. Once logged in, you can browse and play music from your favorite streaming service. You can also listen books, add books, and mark favorites. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of the R2. Pros Compact and lightweight design. High resolution audio support with MQA decoding. Streaming services integration. Bluetooth receiver and transmitter modes. Long battery life with quick charge. Affordable price. As such there is no cons but. No internal storage. Screen may be too small for some users. Finally, I'm going to give a rating out of 10 based on its performance, features, design, and value. Here is my rating. Performance, 8 out of 10. Features, 9 out of 10. Design, 8 out of 10. Value, 10 out of 10. Overall, 8.8 .8 out of 10. The High BR2 Gen 2 is a fantastic entry-level player that offers a lot of bang for your buck. It has a smooth and detailed sound quality, a rich feature set, a sleek design, and a long battery life. It is one of the best budget players on the market right now, and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to enjoy high resolution music and streaming services on the go. That's all for today's unboxing and review of the High Buyer 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Multi Tech Media for more reviews. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.